So here is the program page. And I wanted to discuss with you all the syllabus of the precision medicine program that we'll be going through in the next sessions. And also how to register yourself if you have not done so uh, till now. This was the first session where we thought of inviting all the interested participants of the program so that you know how uh, the sessions would be conducted. And because it was an introductory session today, we did not want to overwhelm you, so we kept it uh, short and light. And this is the program page. I've shared the link in the chat box with all of you. When you scroll down, you can find the sessions schedule. Okay, so we have listed here all the topics that we would be covering for each and every session uh, on like all the topics here we have listed. So today we discussed about introduction to bioinformatics or precision medicine. Next, we are going to talk about the advancements in precision medicine. And then we'll talk about genomic data analysis. Next, we'll discuss oncology data resources uh, that would include raw data and public databases. After that, we are going to talk about the transcriptomic data analysis aspect for precision medicine. And then we'll talk about health, wellness, and ethical concerns. Next, we'll discuss, in the next session, we'll discuss about phylogenetic analysis and multiple sequence alignment. And then talk about host response to infections. We'll also discuss about precision medicine for neuroscience and finally, metagenomic data analysis. So we have covered a whole range of topics here for various omics data analysis in the field of precision medicine. And here we have listed the topics that, uh, that would be covered in each and every session. Now, a point to be noted here is that all the program participants will be able to access the session recordings here on the program page itself. We'll upload the session recording here on the program page once the session is over. And you can see the recording here under each and every session. Also, each and every session of the program will be supplemented with some coursework, associated online resources that you will be supposed to go through and complete. Once you go through the recording and also complete the associated resources, next you're supposed to click on, on the complete session button and you have to do the same for each and every session. This way you will be able to get your certificate. So I'll just very briefly take you to the profile and certification tab as well and answer the questions related to uh, certification and how do we get it, all the resources that are covered, et cetera. Before I do that, I would just very shortly like to discuss the registration steps. So we have uh, three different subscription types that the interested user can pick from. One is for 45 days, another one is for 60 days, and the third one is for 90 days. Now, uh, obviously, as the days are mentioned, you will get the access to the program, the resources that includes the Omics Logic Learn portal, all the courses out there, and also the DBI for server hands analysis uh, platform. You'll get the access to all of these resources for, for 45 days if you uh, pick the first option. And also we have tried to mention the other uh, resources that you will get the access to. And if you pick uh, the access for 60 days, then you will also get to work on your research proposal for the work on a research project um, after, you're done, after you are done with your training for the program. And the license type that you will get on the TBI Info Server would be that of an educational license. And you'll be allowed to uh, also meet the experts in one-on-one one -on -one sessions. And next we have the 90 days of the subscription level where you will also work on a research project alongside your training part. So once your training is complete, you will work on a research project. And to work on a research project, you will have a research license on the DBioInfo server where you'll be able to uh, extract data from various big data repositories and then upload that data after preparing it on the TBI info server and do your own analysis, get your results. And that way you will be able to work on your own independent research project under mentor guidance. So that is the difference between three, these three different types of subscription levels that are possible for you to uh, become a part of the program with. And I would now like to share the link to the scholarship form. So those who are interested 
to avail a scholarship on this program, please fill out this form. I will also put the link in the chat box. Please fill out the form on the scholarship page here. Our team will review your uh, application and then get back to you on this. Once you have filled the form, please let us know. You can also email us at marketing at the rate fine dot by or marketing at the project.com for uh, any further questions. So that was it. Now going back to the page where if anyone has any questions regarding registration that we just discussed or scholarship form, please put it in the chat so that we can discuss that now.